us. Uh, you're listening to WCRX. Stay tuned. Chicago's Underground. All right, y'all. We back. We back. It's your host, Cliff G. We got another artist in here. We have the lovely, talented Sonite in the building. Say what's up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ba, 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 ba. <sighs> Sonite in the building. She's in the building. In the building. And I didn't get it wrong. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so what's up, man? You you um born and raised on the north side of Chicago. Um, what was that like? Learn, gr- I guess, growing on the north side. The north side and south side is different. So, like, I want to get into the music part. Like, what were you listening to at, at that time? Yeah, man. Big up north princess. North pole princess in the building. Hey. Um, people really don't realize that the north the north side is not as, um, how you say, uh, white as people kind of make it seem. We were still very much into the music scene. I feel like y'all, a lot of y'all don't realize a lot of the people that y'all listen to is from up north. OG Stevo, Femdot, me, feel me. You say what? And Polo said, I don't even know that. Um, But all that stuff, you know, I came up on some like old school hip hop. My parents were strict. So the only stuff I was allowed to listen to was stuff that they already cleared. Or I was listening to like Motown and really old jazz music. Um, And then kind of came into like the street and gang rap. You know, a lot of people don't realize the influence that it makes in the music that we listen to. You feel me? Um... But then kind of crossing over, I got into like the poetry scene. So like mm-hmm. Jamila Woods, No Name, um, Pivot Gang, all of them. But mm-hmm. for real, it was, I, it's, it's really no difference where you come up. You just got to find the right music where your pocket is. Word, word. I, I love the energy right now. Y'all should see her right now. She got a lot of energy. Uh, so I'm going to read this real quick. Uh, Sonight heavily utilizes the smooth rhythmic flow of acoustic guitar along with melodic aspects of contemporary music to culminate a sound representation of her experiences and worldly outlook. So yeah. can, can you expound on that? Yeah. Um, so I went to a music people's music school growing up. It's this nonprofit music school, completely free music education. And um, I kind of came up with the, like not idea, but when I was growing up, like the real art of music was the composition. And in that it's like, it's deeper than just drums. It's deeper than just acoustic. It's deeper than just guitar. It's, it's way more to it. There's like the vibrational movements of the strings on the guitar that hits the drum and the, ooh, doo, doo, wah, wah, you know what I'm saying? Like all that. But even in that, like I have to, in music as, as an artist, I have to literally be able to paint it on a canvas. What, what I'm having you listen to type. And in that it was, it's, it was, it's kind of important to keep, to keep that vision going and keeping it as spiritual as possible. And obviously putting, being in the poetry world, um, I really wanted to keep that, the lyricism of my poems and put it into my music that obviously you listen to now. So can I ask, do you still write poetry or is it just strictly music? Yeah, I do. Um, I think with poetry, though, people people make it into this thinner, no, more narrow line that it's it's really not. You know, poetry is just beauty in words, right? And and that that could be a song, that could be a rap, that could be some bars, that could be a poem, that could be a story. So yeah, I do write poetry as as much as I can, you know. Um, and in that, I always try to transfer it into my music type shit. Right, right. So. Um... I just want you to know, I've been listening to this tape. Uh, man, I changed it. I was your first tape from like 2020. What what's the, what was the name of that? The Guest Room. Yo, I've been listening to that. Like, that's what I've been. I, I kind of like went back to your, like whatever she made first. So like, like, what would you say has been your, your growth process from 2020 to, well, that that tape to where you at now? Yeah. Um, I mean, shit. it was during quarantine. That was like my first time at a studio for real. I was recording out my room for most of my time. And the guest room, I like dropped it on a whim. Like I sent it to the stores like a week before. It was very much like I was just like, you know, the world needs to hear and see the vision. Um, shout out my boy Isaac. I told him this vision I had with um 
having a guest room, a living room, a hallway, a my, a my room, and like making it my entrance into artistry as like my home. And then you kind of seeing every part. And obviously with the guest room, that was like a storyline of you as a guest in my home. And then really just my whole artistry changed and evolved every year. Every person I met, every new introduction I had, I definitely saw a huge change in my music, the way I saw things. I still kept going my 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 urge of the beauty of music, but you know, in that I, I kept it as strong as I could and I, I've been just evolving as an artist. You feel me? All right. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um so let's get into this uh this single, uh the same cl- the same. Yeah, dropping May fifteenth. Right, right. So um can you talk about this song real quick before we get into it? Hell yeah. Um my my boy Joe J, I grew up with him or not for real, but we was in high school cooking up and he um me and him just kind of had this like really great bond and he sent me this beat on like November 2021 and he was like, "I don't know, you might like this." Da da da. And I was li- I literally rolled out of bed. He sent me this like two beats R- immediately when I heard the beginning of this beat. I was like, "Yeah, that's it." So I immediately wrote a song. It was like 10 minutes and it was front to back completely done and then recorded it with Nate my friend Nate like literally 20 minutes after that and it was just like the qu- the quickest most natural that came about and I was like of course for the single rollout I definitely want this to be the first the first of many type shit word word all right y'all so she gave a little explanation to it so let's get right into it this is tonight with the same tough mm-hmm. That's tough. Hey, family. That's, what's crazy is, you know what I, I love about this is like when you meet people and then you hear their music, it's like, wow. wow. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like looking at you, hearing that, hearing the music I was listening to earlier, it's like, wow. Mm-hmm. Like you just never know the talent, you know, people possess. Like, so like, yo, I'm I'm glad you came out. I'm, I'm glad it. I got to meet you and um. So yeah. So uh, what's next? Like you said, you said this. You have something coming out in what this mm-hmm. month? What's yeah. You? So this this what you just heard. This is actually like the first time it's on the radio for real. Um, coming out May fifteenth, twenty twenty two. So like next week. Yes. You feel me? First look. Um, and then hopefully having a few more singles, a few more collabs out this summer, and then ending this series with my last project called In My Room. It won't be my last one forever, but it'll be the last one of the series. But mm. this is the first start of the singles rollout for the summer type shit. Right, right, right. So, um, dang, I just lost my train of thought. Um, so it's like any any kind of events you got coming up? Are you performing anywhere? Like anything like that? So that way people can come out and see you and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. You, you, y'all you could pull up to Lincoln Hall on uh, June 22nd. I'm opening for Nugget Res um, or June 25th. I'm performing with my homies at the Hideout, um, having a few guest appearances at some festivals that I can't announce yet, but just be on the lookout and just, just wait on it. Or, or let them know where they can find you at and, and where to find your music. For sure. Um, you can find my music, S-E-N-I-T-E, everywhere on all platforms. You can find my Instagram at underscore S-E-N-I-T-E, YouTube, S-E-N-I-T-E, everything, tonight, 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 literally everywhere. Even on Twitter, I'll be tweeting about my mama and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, same thing. She cool. <laughs> she tonight, tonight, tonight. I gotta say it tonight, tonight. Cause when she first got here, I, I said it so wrong, and she looked at me like I was crazy. It's so I not got, that hard. Tonight, tonight, tonight. So nah, let me. See. <laughs> Imagine I like pull up. That's like candy man. <laughs> but no, thank you. I, I like for real. I really appreciate this. Like I was nervous when I reached out to you because I, I see like yo, she probably buzzing. Like she probably ain't got time for me. So I just, <laughs> I just want to say thank you. Um, good luck to you. You already know you got it because people know who you are. You can find her face on Instagram. All you gotta do is pull her up. So um, I just wish you nothing but the best. And like, don't don't let none of the outside noise get to you. Stay focused and, and just keep going. For all everybody who's listening, man, if you're an artist and you got talent, hit me up. Reach out to me. You know, Miss Tonight came through and she didn't have to, and she blessed us with this track. So yes. to all the artists out there, get at me. Loud Visuals Instagram. You can follow me. Um, thank you again. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, y'all make sure y'all go go stream that. That was um the same. Yeah, check so, that out. Um, you listening to WCRX coming up, y'all? We got our six o'clock mix, so y'all stay tuned. Peace.
I looked a demon in my eyes and in my eyes I couldn't see myself and I But I myself am struggling with me and mine I myself am juggling the move but I Raindrops and glitter the same Same way that raindrops are dropping a day Walking with wings and I'm flying the same Walking with wings and I'm flying the same Casually the repercussions of my consequences Was the only thing that stopped me in rebel messes With the mess I moved, the mess I made The mess I lay with, stay with me. 